Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. I'm going to do another bloom tile. So I've got some new colours, so hopefully these ones will turn out really cool. So I have British Paints Low Sheen Interior White House Paint as the pillow. Should be enough. Might just put a tiny little bit more right in the middle. Yep. And I am going to go with so the new colours I got was a parrotfish green, uh, yellow. The the small bottles don't have a name on it, so I'm not too sure what it's called. A yellow and a pink or yeah, it's pinky. So, um, I'm going to do a couple of tiles. So the first one is going to be, which order do I do it? I'm going to go the purple on the bottom. So sometimes these little nozzles, I don't know if you can see, get a little bit clogged with the older paint. So just get a toothpick or something and just make sure you get that dry bit out. But these um, boom gel stains, they're really good. I find them easy because you don't have to do any mixing. You just use it as is. And that's, that's what makes it easy. So you just don't really have to fuss or mess around with them too much. I'm going to go with the pink on top of the purple colour. And I always wipe my nozzle afterwards. Then I'm going to go silver. I'm just going to clean out this nozzle too. You just don't want a chunky bit in there because then it stops the paint from um, the bloom from going in a smooth pattern. So the silver is always a little bit runnier than the other colours. And then we will go this ring neck blue so I'm just cleaning out the nozzle beautiful so I'm hoping these colors come out really well one thing I find is I do have a slightly uneven Thing. I got to get a new tub which is a bit more even and then I'm I'm actually going to use black on this one so whenever I haven't used my paint for a little bit I always just add a tiny bit of flow troll to it and then stir it in um, only the um, cell activator color it's one of those things I've found it's just better if you just mix a tiny bit in just before you, if you haven't used it for a week or so. Or So this is Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed four to one. Four parts flow troll, one part paint. And I just noticed, realized something that I hadn't done. Oh. Whoops. So, with the hairdryer, I've still got the diffuser nozzle on when I want 
my drink bottle nozzle on it. So I'm just going to get some sticky tape. Take off my diffuser nozzle. Because I was doing Dutch pours last. And then I have just cut a drink bottle. I just attach that onto it. And then just sticky tape it on. Because I always use the hairdryer in um, the cool function, it doesn't really heat up or anything like that. So nothing to overly worry about. Come on, try and go back to the middle, Mr. Paint. That's my biggest issue is this is a little bit uneven, but we will get there. Okay, so it comes straight down. Okay, so just leave it for a sec, some of these cells. What I sometimes do is if it looks very solid, If it looks very solid in the middle, just give it a bit of a blow until you see a couple of cells come up. And I'm going to put a glove on. I'm only going to do the one glove because I'm only really touching it with this, um, my right hand. So now I'm going to spin. Ooh. And sorry if this makes you dizzy. Ah, I lost most of the pink. I've got a tiny bit left on this corner over here. So I want to try and get rid of a bit more of this. So I'm, I'm going to lose that bit of pink, but that's okay because I want to remove this part. So I usually tap spin from the corner I want to remove only because if I mess it up, then I'm not messing up a nice part of the the port there, bloom, and one, two, ah, terrible, terrible, so that's what I meant by, see how I've slipped and I've ended up taking the paint off, so that's why I spin on the end I want to get rid of, so then I didn't do it on any of those other corners, so we'll go again, And still want to get a little bit more off if I can. So I'm not going to keep overdoing it. I'm going to do one more and I think I'll leave it as that. Cool. So again, I got blooms on more than three quarters, just that little bit didn't get it. But that doesn't worry me. It still looks quite pretty. So I'll bring you down for a closer look. There we go. So I, I do wish there was a bit of the pink in there. It just kind of disappeared with all that. But look at this lacing. It's fantastic. There's hints of pink in there, but not a lot. You've got teal in the middle, and you can see the shimmering there. So that um, silver's mixed in with both the teal and a bit of the other colours. Sorry for the reflection of the light. And this corner here is kind of just hasn't got the lacing in it, but it, it still looks cool. It looks more like an Aurora Borealis type of style. But yeah, so that's this one. So now I'm going to pause it, chuck another can, um, tile on, and we'll do another one. Okay, so new tiles on, and I put the pillow paint on. Now I'm going to show you this one. This is one I messed up the other day. 
And after it got messed up, I ended up just putting it on the side of the tub on an upright angle. And it's kind of turned into a... So all the paint ended up washing down, but it's actually kind of turned out a bit cool. Different. So it's... I can see the, the shiny, the speckling in there from the, um, the silver. But yeah, that was, that was my disaster tile. But it hasn't turned out as horrible as... It did when it was upright. I mean, when it was flat. Once I put it upright, it started looking alright. So, I am going to do the same colours again because I want I want that pink. So, I'm just going to go less on the other colours and maybe a bit more on the pink. So, there's some purple. Play my nozzle. Um, maybe I will go silver and then put the pink on top of the silver. And then just a little bit of teal, not a lot actually. And then we'll use the same black cell activator. Come on paint. Alrighty, now the hairdryer. So the pink's kind of disappeared again. But, oh well, if that happens, I'll just move on to my new colours. <laughs> Alright, we're going to spin. Yep, pink disappeared on me. Actually, even a lot of the silver kind of... I got bits of silver, but I got more silver here and here. I'm only going to... I'm going to spin this one more time. That actually turned out pretty good from the first spin. So it's just a shame that I didn't get more of that pink. That's the whole reason I brought the three pack is because I, they, they didn't have any bottles of the pink in the big left. So I had to get it in the three pack. So that's looking pretty cool. So I should say looking. I use a... Sometimes I talk a little bit Australian... <laughs> so if I spin it, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get a lot more changing in that. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So pausing it and bringing you down. So there we go. It's hard to always see from all the way up there, but it's got some cool lacing. All the way around. And then the middle... It's full on cell city, lots of cells and some shimmering going on. So another different look again, which is cool. I like them to be slightly different. So I'm going to pause it, put this aside and get tile number three. All right, and we're back. <clears throat> so this time, hmm, what colors should we do? I was just going to use these two, but I want to add a third colour to it. So I'm not too sure which way to go about that. That's another new colour I haven't used yet. Finch Mauve, but I'm not sure. It 
if I do, I'd rather put this, I might try it out. It's a new color. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to put the mauve on the bottom. Then I will put this parrotfish green over the top. Then I will put some silver. Oops. And then we'll go yellow. Not sure if these are colors that are really going to scream, we should have gone together. But that's the part about it. You've got to mix it up. Do different things. That's the fun about it all. I do sometimes wish, wonder whether I'm not putting enough paint on. Um, but at the same time, it's sometimes it's hard to actually know for sure. So there goes the cell activator again. And oops, hair dryer time. Wow. I actually think this one's going to look pretty cool. But we won't know till we spin. So, everyone ready? Let's go. One, two. Now that's quite different. Instead of getting black cells, it's giving me yellow lacing. Cool. I'm going to spin it again because I feel like there's a little bit too much solid silver actually over here. But that's, this side here has got some nice rainbow patterns in it. Oh, that was a horrible spin. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now this one's turned out really, really different. I wasn't expecting the yellow to do the lacing like it did. But the yellow has definitely given me all the lacing. And the black's kind of just... Got this one bit in the middle, not really a lot there. So let's come down and have a look at this one. So this one looks cool, but um, I'm not 100% sure about the color combination. So here we go. Like I said, this looks really cool. It's got lacing everywhere and it's all bright yellow. But I'm just not 100% hooked on the color combination of this one. But yeah, and this is it. Experiment, have fun. Sometimes you do it and you go, ah, that's horrible. And other times you go, that's fantastic. Lots of big cells in the middle. But yeah. So that was number three. So I, I like purple. So, that, so the purple ones seem to be my favorite. So... That's the three I'm doing for now. I've only got a rack that can actually have three on it to dry. So I usually only do three at a time. Um, I could actually put one in the, leave one in this tub to dry. Should we do one more? Yeah, let's go one more. Okay, we're back again. So I am going to 
do the new purple, which I think five. Then I'm going to do the ring neck blue. This mauve is okay, but I, I actually think I'll, oh, I just messed up my lid there. I usually like to keep my bottles really clean and I messed that, I made a mess of it. And then I'm going to go a bit of silver. And my final color is going to be the pink. So we'll see if this means that I get pink lacing like the last one I got yellow lacing. Test and see, won't we? Ah, oh well. Oops, I got a little bit of paint on my nozzle. All right, here we go with this one. All right, I'm going to get pink in this. This is actually looking promising. All right, I think those cells have come up enough. Let's spin. Oh yeah. That is cool. I may spin it just a tad more. Sometimes it's hard because you want to spin it to get one side a little bit different, but then you don't want to lose what's on other corners. And what happened there? It doesn't worry me, just don't know how that got there. All right, now close up. This looks super cool. So I'm going to bring these down. Okay, so this is it from up high. And just remember, the colors aren't always as defined when it's up high. Let's go down and look at this pink in the middle. Fantastic. Lots of lacing and cells and there's pink everywhere. Nice silver cells or lacing coming through there. There's that little dot thing. I'm not too sure what that is, but adds to the features. Oh, there's a couple more there. Looks like some cells are popping up. So I don't know if I can get the... Sh I'm trying to get the metallic without getting the light reflecting too much, but it's definitely very metallic through a lot of the painting. All through here you've got like metallic lacings through here so this is fantastic excellent well I hope everyone enjoyed watching these and yeah always gonna do more I can only so I've got three drying on my rack and one drying in my tub and that will be it I'll have to do something else but yeah um, subscribe like ring the bell um leave comments yep everything um happy to hear what people have got to say and i hope you enjoyed watching my videos tonight we'll have to think of something else to do for tomorrow all right enjoy your day bye